G'day, how are you today? It is Glenn here, Guitar Practice Hub. Are you an older guitar student? Uh, someone who's at the beginning stages of their uh, guitar journey? Today I want to help you get a song under your fingers in a nice simplified version. We're going to get your fingers on the fretboard, playing the chord changes, feeling the rhythm, uh, and hopefully having a good time while we do it. So the song you're going to learn today, it's a classic American tune, Jack and Diane, John Mellencamp. You know him, uh, AKA the Coogs. I think we might call him. <laughs> Let's not do that. So it's a cool song. I know you know this tune. Um, you can probably hear it in your head right now. Now having a song in mind that you know really well helps you uh, learn how to play it. You don't have to learn the song to play the song. In a sense, you, you know the song. All you have to do is just uh, translate it to the uh, fretboard. The song mainly is based on three chords. We're going to use three chords to play this one. The chords that are in this song are A, E and a D. But I want to make things a little bit smoother and a little bit easier on your fingers for you. So if you could do something for me right now, grab this, your capo. So we're going to use our capo uh, to make the chord changes a bit smoother. We're going to use different chord shapes to play the chords from the song. Don't worry about getting too bogged down in the um, theory or the understanding of it. Just uh, let's go through the motions, have some fun while we play a song, eh? So first of all, we're going to get the capo. We're going to capo fret number two. So let's whack that on here. Here we go. Fret number two. Easy as that. I did mention before the chords in the song are A, E and D. Yes, we're going to be playing them, but throw them out of your mind right now because the three chords I want you to play here are the chords G, the chord D and the chord C add 9. Hey, we've actually got a video going through these three chords. If you want to have a look at that, click on the thing up there. So these three chords are going to make for a nice smooth changes. So using these three chords with the capo on fret number two means we will be hitting the chords in the song. I know it sounds confusing. Just don't worry about it. Let's just, like I said, go through the motions here and play the song, eh? So the three chords, G, we've got uh, chord diagrams on the screen. We're going to use four fingers for this one. I recommend do what you find comfortable. Enjoy the process, eh? <laughs> There's your G chord. All right, try not to play the low E string with the chord. It's okay to play the A. D is the root note. Okay, so there's your D chord. Cool. You can let your finger touch the, touch the E string up there. Again, we want to mute that string. We don't want to hear it in the chord. So those three chords. Okay, so let's get into the song. The opening of the song. It's a, a real catchy sort of riff on the chords. Okay, I'll play it through and it goes. G, D, G, D, C. Ooh, what happened there? After we play the C chord, can you just get this hand? and lightly touch the strings. Don't put a whole lot of force into it. We're not going to karate chop the guitar in half. Just a nice little gentle touch to mute the sound, to stop the sustain of the chord right in its tracks. So G, D, G, D, C. After four. One, two, three, four. And G, D. G, D, C. After four again. One, two, three. Same thing. G, D, G, D, C. Oh, okay. So you got that. You might, your ears might be saying, hey, I want to hear the little doodunk, that little doodunk, that hooky little. That's the technical. We're getting super technical here today. After you mute that C, what I want you to do is just come to this A string, give it two quick plucks. We're just plucking the individual root note of the chord by itself. And just pluck that twice. Give it a little mute after you pluck it. Okay. I use alternate picking. I do a pick where I go down and up. 
Good little opportunity to uh, put that into practice. Let's do it together. Nice and slow and steady. One, two, three, four. After two and three, four. Three, four. One, two, three. Whoa! Last one. D, G, D, C. Okay, that comes back in later on in the song as well. Okay, so let's get into a verse, shall we? Can I hear ya? G, D, C, D. And again, three, four. G, D, C, D. There is the foundation. That is the basics of it. We're gonna add a little bit extra rhythm. I just want to um, let you know, we're not trying to emulate the song perfectly. Um, that's not our point. Our point is to get your fingers working, get your ears hearing them, get the changes taking place, develop the skills you've already got going on a little bit further and a little bit further and in the process, enjoy it and nail a song uh, as, as we go about it. Little ditty about Jack and Diane American kids grown up in the heartland. See how we just repeat that chord progression. We're gonna take it a little bit further though and just give a couple of little extra strums as we as we just progress on the foundation that we've just laid. G, G, D, 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 C, C, D, D, D. Da, 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 da. G, G, D, C, C, D, 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 and a G, G, D, 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 C, C, D, D, D. A little ditty about Jack and Diane, two American kids grown up in the heartland. You got me? So you see how we took that just a little bit further. I've kept it all with downward strums. That's fine, you can do that as well. You know, we, we can only expand upon this more and more. G, G, D. Oh my goodness. Have a look at what happens on this D. You might notice I'm doing a little alteration to it. We go G, G, D. And on those extra two little strums, so we go D. Your pinky is gonna, it's gonna join the party down here. You're gonna keep all of your fingers where they are on the D chord. We're gonna just put the pinky down here on the high E string, fret three. The name of this chord, it's just, it's, it's an alteration of a D. This, this becomes a D sus four is the name of that chord. You might, you might know this already. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go D, pinky down for the sus four, strum pinky off, Like that, on the D. Let's put it into context. We'll play it four times in a row. Will you join me after four? One, got the G. Two, three, four. C, D, again. Okay, so that, that chord progression gets us through to the end of the first verse. Of oh, Jackie's car. Then there's this little instrumental section, just a little sort of little tag, a little bridgey sort of instrumental. Our main focus here is on the B string, string number two. We're gonna isolate that string by itself for now. Then we'll add some little harmony with some open strings around it. What I want you to do, is you're gonna start with an open string and you're gonna go open, F 
first fret open, third fret. Okay, da 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 da, o one o three. Three three. One one three 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 is the next little bit. Okay, again that's one one three three three. O one o three three three. One one three three three. So the second half of this little instrumental it starts the same. O one o three. Three, three, one, one, open string. Again, we're going to add a little bit extra to this in just a second, but let's go over that uh, as, as we've isolated the single, the single note melody. Two, three, four. O, one, O, three, three, three. One, one, three, three, three. O, one, O, three, three, three. One, one, O. But what I want to do now is, is just bring a little open string harmony, the G string. I want you to work on just plucking. Basically those two strings here, the G and the B. I'm not too concerned if we get the high E in there. It's perfectly fine. Again, you won't get the harmony police knocking on your door saying, hey, you played a string when you weren't meant to. That stuff doesn't matter. So, so we're going to play the same thing, but now instead of plucking that string by itself, we're going to run across the pick across both strings here, like so. I hit that D string a couple of times. Again, sounds all right. No problem. Let's go through the whole thing. O, one, O, three, three, three. One, one, three. again. One, one, okay, let's add another layer to it, another layer to it. Um, I want us to try sliding here. So we're going to try to keep our pressure on the string from fret one here, and we're going to slide it, one pluck, slide it up to fret three. Like that, right? A uh, little movement there going from a lower pitch to a higher pitch. Okay, we can put that into the riff now. Two, three, four. Okay, so just one more thing I want to add at the very end of what we're playing so far with the slide, the two strings. He said when we do the one, one, O. Oh. I want you to come up here and press the third fret down on the high E. So it's going to be open, open, and the three. Let me demonstrate. Like right. that. All together, let's do this. One more time. And. Let's have a quick look at the chorus, okay? So the chorus of the song is pretty similar, very, very similar, like 90, 95% same as the verse, except for the very tail end, okay? So let's have a little walk through. This is, oh yeah, life goes on. That section of the song, as you know. It's the same kind of G, D, sus4, C, then on the second run through, G, D, C, D, G. Three quick changes there at the end there. We'll do that again. Two, three, four. Here we go. <laughs> One more time. Two, three, four, and G, D, C, D, G, D, C, D. 
Okay, at this point, you, you go back into that big opening riff, the big hooky riff that we played at the very start, straight out of the chorus into that one that we did at the start. It goes back into a verse, back into a chorus, the song sections that we've already learnt so far. Keep repeating. Listen to the song. Listen to the song. Play along with the song and you will get the structure of the song. So far we've learnt ooh, most of the parts. Okay, so for the verse and the chorus, we play through those chords like this. Two, three, four. Okay, so because we've worked through it, we've pulled the song, the chords, we've really pulled them apart, which is good to do so you get a, um, a, a deeper understanding of what's going on, uh, which helps you grow in your musicianship rather than just um, paint by numbers in a sense. So we're just going to play through the chord progression now that is the verse and is the chorus. Uh, we'll play it through four times in a row. Here we go. Two, three, four. Okay, then there's the big breakdown with just the singing, uh, big chorusy vocals and booming drums. Um, you, if you're singing and playing it, you can always use your, use your acoustic guitar as a, uh, as a percussion instrument and sing along. Kicks back into the same chord progressions that we've already played through to see us out with the rest of the song. There is a little bit where verse one, the same lyrics repeat. Uh, towards the end of the song and we just we just kind of lighten our touch we work the dynamics of the song a little bit lighten your touch as you play through the chords like this And that big chorusy riff thing sees you out to the very end of the song. Thanks for sticking through that one today. A really uh, cool tune to play along with. Throw the song on and uh, try your best to play along with it. If you're feeling excited, sing along with the song while you play it. That's a skill. Tell me how you go in the comments below at singing while you play guitar. I know it... Um, it's a little bit tricky when we first get that going, but that's cool. So you have all of the parts of the song to uh, put it together. Um, have fun, okay? See you next time.